Hey, what's up? This is Atomic Swift, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, I know normally I post videos of, you know, how to crack video games, uh, well, how to apply cracks to video games, and uh, videos of me playing video games and doing stuff with my nephew and stuff. And uh, this video is just going to be a little, a little different. Um, I'm trying to create more variety for my channel. And uh, so there's going to be other stuff on here too, like me ranting about stuff, which is what this video is. This video is very sad, and uh, I just don't know what the fuck is wrong with people. I, I just really don't. So, if you don't live in the Las Vegas area, here, I'm going to bring this over here. So, this little boy, only two years old. was uh, reported missing on May 5th here in Las Vegas. Uh, his name's Amari Nicholson, and his mother is Taylor Nicholson. And uh, I'm sorry, it's just, <laughs> it's just so fucked up. I mean, when, when I saw the, uh, the new update for this case, it, I just don't understand what the fuck is, gets into people's minds. But anyway... So this little boy was dis, uh, reported missing on May 5th. A lot of weird shit. Um, so this is his mom right here. This is her loser fucking piece of shit boyfriend. Look at this piece of shit. So anyway, as the story goes um, right here. So she, this girl, her mother had surgery or something. Or was recovering from surgery. So she went to wherever her mom lives. I think it was like Colorado or something to help her recover. And her mom sent her a plane ticket for her and her little boy, Amari. And I, I hope I'm saying that right. And, uh, you know, to, to go to Colorado and help her recover from surgery. So he, um, she went alone, wasn't with the little boy. She left the little boy with this sack of dog shit. And, uh, I mean, I, I mean, there's got to be more to this story. Why, you know, why wouldn't she take her little boy? Why would she leave him with this coward? But anyway, so this, so, um, while she was in Colorado, according to the news reports, she, uh, FaceTimed with her son once, according to her mother, and didn't FaceTime again. And then this motherfucker right here told her that the little boy was missing, that he was kidnapped. He said that he got a knock on the door at 6 in the morning from a lady representing herself as the baby's dad's sister, which, you know, this was just her boyfriend, not her baby's dad. And then in the situation, so he's trying to call her to figure out if, if uh, you know, this is really who this person is and should the little boy go with him blah 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 and she wasn't able to answer the phone so he's packing a bag and she, she grabs the baby and runs out of the apartment and by the time he's able to go out and find out where she went she was nowhere to be seen now i know what you're thinking same thing i was thinking this story was fucking bullshit from the start and i work near the las vegas strip which the all this supposedly happened at the Emerald Suites Apartments, which are on Paradise and Twain, directly behind the Wynn Hotel, in the ghetto. Well, one of the ghettos of Las Vegas. But anyway, so he, he you know, was given this bullshit story. This was from an interview they did on TV. And uh, let me see if they got the video here. Fear of pointing and confusion tonight over the disappearance of a two-year-old boy. Amari Nicholson has been missing boy. more than two days now. Tonight, Tonight we're hearing from the boy's mother and her boyfriend, and they're now saying that someone kidnapped him. Fox says Joe Miel joined us now with more this, what the couple is saying. Yeah, yeah that's right. I talked to the couple today, and then the mother flat out said some of what she's saying may certainly sound confusing to people. You fucking think so? Someone took her son. She has struggled to digest that. Look, liar. Look, liar. You could tell he's fucking lying. I watch his video. I'm like, I, you know, I was just like, uh, 
I thought the worst. <laughs> I mean, I am interested to see if she has something to uh, do with this whole situation because sadly, I mean, I was really hoping this would end in a good way, but uh, sadly it did not. Just one second here. I thought, uh, here we go. So, like I said, I work near the Strip. I've been seeing the uh, people out in that in that area handing out flyers and stuff. Lots of people, lots of good people in this world that help with stuff like this. And so, you know, I, I got a what was it like an event alert today that they that uh, tomorrow, well today and tomorrow, you know, they were gonna be passing out flyers again. They were going to light up, what they call it, light up the night for this this uh, adorable little boy. And I'm guessing a candlelight vigil of some sort. And uh, I was planning on going tomorrow. Because, um, you know, I just wanted this little boy found. But uh, after watching that video of those two, in my heart I, I knew. And sure enough, this is uh, this is the, the, the latest update. Look at this mother. Boyfriend confessed to killing this little boy. A little four-year-old boy. Look at this. The boyfriend of Amari Nicholson's mother, Terrell Rhodes, has reportedly confessed in the boy's death. Taylor Nicholson told Fox 5 on Tuesday regarding Rhodes, he killed my baby, he just confessed, I'm with Metro now, we'll speak with, when I'm done. Oh, I guess when I'm done. Yeah, see, he's been missing since May 5th. They're holding a press conference right now. It's... I mean, look at this fucking piece of fucking shit. What the fuck could a little two-year-old boy have done where you would kill him? The little boy never had a chance at life. He's two years old. He never gets to experience his first day of preschool, kindergarten, middle school, high school. I mean... I just don't get it. I, I, I just don't understand. How the fuck are you going to kill a little boy? So there are some evil fucking people in this world. Evil, evil, evil. And like I said, what could a two-year-old boy have done to where you would kill him? And then you go on TV, you say all this fucking lying bullshit story that everybody knew or at least suspected was fucking bullshit from the start. And these people are out there, you know, tirelessly handing out flyers, looking through dumpsters, trash cans for this little boy because of this fucking bullshit story you wove. And the whole time, you killed him. Probably all the way back on May 5th when he's reported missing. Or, you know, maybe before that, who knows. Because according to the story, he only uh, FaceTimed with his mom one time. Since she was in Colorado or wherever her mom's at. I mean, it's just... Uh, I mean, I just, I mean, this pure fucking evil, pure evil, Terrell Rhodes, piece of shit, coward, asshole, kill a little fucking boy. I mean, look at this. Poor little boy. <laughs> Look at this, man. Man. So, I, so I, I, I just, I just don't get it. don't understand like how the fuck could you kill a little boy how you know this this fucking scumbag piece of shit waste of human fucking life should get life in prison you kill a two year old little boy what what could this little boy have done to where you take his fucking life and then you lie to everybody and make up some bullshit story about some aunt kidnapping him. Like, I'm oh, sorry. This this whole story. It, it, when I saw this update on my Facebook feed, it, it just brought tears to my eyes. 
This little boy didn't even get a chance to start his life. He's just two years old. Man. But, uh, yeah, so. Sorry if this video is a bit of a downer. Like I said, I'm just trying to branch out a little bit here, and I just wanted to share my opinion. And uh, if you if you hadn't seen this story, uh, if you don't live in Las Vegas, I don't know if this made the national news, but uh, if you want to see the, the face of a piece of fucking dog shit, is this fucker right here. He said, there's a special place in hell for you, asshole. Hope this motherfucker roasts in hell. Fucking, what a fucking piece of shit. Oh, man. But anyway. Uh, so, yeah, like I was saying, rest in peace, Amari Nicholson. I mean, I really was hoping deep down the story wouldn't turn out this way. I always get a little uh, pain in my heart when I see stories like this, a little kid's missing, and then, you know, because most of them never come home. And, and sadly, that's what happened here, so. I said, rest in peace. Um, everybody, uh, take care. Um, please be mindful of who leave you, who you leave your children with. If her story is even true, who knows? Um, just be careful with who you trust. I mean, there's nothing more precious than a human life, especially the life of a little boy. <laughs> 